Hey Tech World, if it is considered one of the most interesting jobs right now, why do I tell you not to go for it? Mainly because the topics in this video are not to discourage, but to show the whole reality of what it is like to work with data. So in this video, we are going to cover aspects like fun facts about it, they are aspects where any experience of data science, analysts or engineers will share. Also, what is it, how to become one, what is the job outlook now, common daily tasks you have to perform, career alternatives, and salaries. So this video is not meant for advanced people to differ with this, but to identify with it and add if something is missing. What is data science? Data science continues to evolve as one of the most promising and in-demand career paths for skilled professionals. Today, successful data professionals understand that they must advance past the traditional skills of analyzing large amounts of data, data mining and programming skills. To undercover useful intelligence for their organizations, data scientists have to master the full spectrum of the data science life cycle and possess a level of flexibility and understanding to maximize returns at each phase of the process. Effective data scientists can identify relevant questions, collect data from a multitude of different data sources organize the information, translate results into solutions, and communicate their findings in a way that positively affects business decisions. These skills are required in almost all industries, causing a skilled data scientist to be increasingly valuable to companies. I will explain more about this later, but in general, you need to know that you will be using programming languages. You will deploy data tools such as Python, R, SAS, or SQL in data analysis. So one fun fact about data science is its impact. Data science is everywhere. From personalized Netflix recommendations to predicting the weather, data science plays a role in shaping our daily lives. Data science is something that now is being used in medicine, in sports, things like all of the recommendations that you see in Google, Facebook and all of them are part of our world right now and companies also use that for analysis that is more advanced than Excel or any capability, especially in memory, in size and in speed. So how do you become a data scientist? I will also cover how do you become a data analyst or data an engineer as well, kind of similar. There are some different ways to become a data scientist. Depending on what you think about college, being a data scientist might be a little bit good news for some people because you don't necessarily need to go to four years of school to become one. Now, if you go to LinkedIn or any job site, you will see that in the requirements, it says that you need a degree. I would personally say that I have a degree in data science and it is very useful. You can get a job without one, but it can be challenging. If you don't have a degree, basically you have to prove that you surpass any skill that any bachelor will have learned and that you have many successful projects under your belt. Some people get some jobs without many projects or degrees, but that might depend more on contacts or networking, which is good too. So traditional path would be to go to school to get a degree, but it doesn't necessarily need to be in data science only. It can also be in other similar subjects in this order, computer science, statistics, some sort of data degree like data science, data analysis, and data engineering. But it can also be some not so similar things like math or economics. Now, I would have to say that if you have those type of degrees, you have good knowledge, but you just need to complement it with coding skills like Python, R, SAS, SQL, or others. Also, it can be good to have low, Power BI and Excel are also good. It depends if you can get a job after your undergraduate degree. If not, you can do a master's degree in some specialized aspect of this data world. The downside of this option is that it could be very expensive and a little bit lengthier than the rest. The positive side of this, at least for me, is that you can meet a lot of people, not only in your major, but in different majors. Another benefit, and I will encourage you to do it, is to take some classes on other topics unrelated to data, but that are still in your passion. For example, I am a double major in data science and economics, but you don't have to be a double major. However, if you like other areas like music, chemistry, economics, finance, business, medicine, sports, or any, you should learn a little bit of that as well. 
Data science as is usually is not a topic as a whole. Data science analyzes things from other sciences, so if you have knowledge in that area, you can work for a company that works around that as well. So you can be a data scientist around medicine, for example. Also, sports can be predicted and analyzed using data science, so you might get a job at a sports team. Another possibility is to do a bootcamp, which is not really untraditional. Although it's not the typical for your path, it is still expensive. Some bootcamps are free, some are cheaper, like $200, $300, but there are some complex ones that are around $15,000. Going to a bootcamp can make you learn things like Python, R, SQL, Hadoop, and Spark. They will also provide hands-on experience with data like data collecting, data analysis, data visualization, statistical analysis, predictive analysis, and programming. Data science bootcamps have become a popular choice for those seeking a fast track into the world of data. Let's explore the pros and cons to help you make an informed decision. Pros. Quick career transition. Data science bootcamps are like express routes to a new career. They typically span a few months, whereas a traditional college degree can take years. It is an efficient way to acquire in-demand skills fast. Build a professional network. Bootcamps provide a unique opportunity to connect with like-minded individuals, instructors, and industry experts. Building a professional network can be invaluable when entering the job market. High demand skills. Bootcamps focus on teaching the practical skills required in the industry, including programming, data analysis, and machine learning. These skills are in high demand across various sectors, making bootcamps graduates desirable candidates. Cons. Less emphasis on statistics. Data science is not just about data crunching, and statistics plays a vital role, especially in research-oriented positions. If you aspire to work in data research, you might find that a graduate degree provides a more robust foundation in statistical methods. The cost of a bootcamp. While bootcamps offer a faster road to a new career, they often come with a price tag. Bootcamps can be relatively expensive. However, it's essential to weigh the cost against the potential benefits and your career goals. You should be able to research what kind of salaries you can be getting and see if that will balance. Pros of getting a data science college degree In-depth learning College programs offer a comprehensive understanding of data science, including theoretical foundations and research opportunities. You'll delve deep into subjects like statistics, machine learning, and data analysis. Credibility A college degree carries weight and is widely recognized by employers. It can open doors to a broader range of job opportunities, research opportunities. College programs often provide a chance for you to engage in research projects, which can be essential for those interested in data science research or academia. The cons of getting a data science degree in college. It is time consuming. College degrees take longer to complete, typically spanning several years. This extended duration may not suit those looking for a quick career transition. Costly. Pursuing a college degree can be expensive. Considering tuition, books, and living expenses, the financial burden is a significant factor to consider. Let's focus on practical skills. College programs tend to emphasize theory and research over practical, job-specific skills. As a result, you might need to acquire more hands-on skills independently, like internships or entry-level jobs that may not pay you what you want right now, but maybe later, stuff like that. These are the job titles you might be getting after you complete it. Data engineer, machine learning engineer, big data analyst, business analyst, database administrator, etc. So what is it like to work around data science? I would say that it's different from when you are in school. Just because in school the things you practice and learn and the small projects you try are guided. When you are working, you are being part of the company and its people. That means that everyone is also trying to figure out how to improve something or do a good job or objective for the company. So you don't have as much guidance as before. Especially after years, you will start getting experience and work on your own project. You will have to work with the other departments like finance, for example, to be able to understand first the problem and then try to build from scratch a model. From there, you are the one in charge. You can get help from other people 
but it's not as clear as a homework or a project from school. Data activities in data jobs. Data engineer. They are architects of data, building and maintaining data systems. They are the ETL wizards, ensuring data flows seamlessly and collaborating with others to deliver essential data. Machine learning engineer. The AI explorers, crafting, training, and optimizing models. They work closely with data engineers, bringing machine learning magic to life. Big data analysts. The data detectives, diving into vast data sets to uncover insights. They run queries, create visual stories, and make data speak. Business analysts, the storytellers of data. They will connect the technical and non-technical worlds. They prioritize business needs analyze trends, and use data to drive decisions. Database administrator. The data guardians, keeping databases running smoothly, secure, and performant. They are the troubleshooters in data realms. Data scientists. The data alchemists, turning data into gold. They clean and mold data, create predictive models, and collaborate with teams to solve real-world problems. Remember, these roles offer exciting adventures in the data realm each with its own unique challenges and rewards. The specific tasks may vary, but the quest for valuable insights and solutions is a common thread. Remember too, collaboration and communication are all so critical. As data professionals, they often work in interdisciplinary teams, like other departments. Thanks for visiting all of this data world with me. I am grateful you made it here. And I would like you to invite to watch more of my videos and make sure to like it and subscribe. There will be more tech videos coming soon. Thanks.